Here are five awesome ways to use a posted dry erase sheet. Hey guys, my name is Ed Choi. Thank you for joining me today. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. In my channel, I talk about everything to do with the office. And today we're talking about these cool posted dry erase sheets. So what is a posted dry erase surface? Before I go over five awesome ways on how to use it. Well, as you can see, it is a dry erase surface, so you can use it for whiteboarding. Now what makes this special is that you can peel off the liner and it's like a giant sticker, but rather than having a permanent adhesive, it uses the same adhesive that they use in post-it notes. Now, can you take this post-it dry erase sheet, stick it on a wall and put it on another wall? Probably, but because it's a sticky backing, there might be a chance where it sticks to itself and once it sticks itself, I find it kind of hard to unstick and it probably will damage the surface. So in terms of applications, you'll see when I go over my five awesome ways on how to use it, it's usually a one-time application. But if you ever want to remove it, no problem, you can take it off because it uses that posted adhesive. Now, another cool thing about the posted dry erase surface is that it has an anti-staining surface, which means that it doesn't ghost. So if you guys are whiteboard users, you'll know that after time, the whiteboard kind of smudges and no matter how much you clean it, you write on it, it still smudges. That's called ghosting. It means the surface is worn off. Well, the posted dry erase surface does not ghost, which makes it a very unique surface, especially for whiteboards. Now let's go over the five amazing ways on how I like to use a posted dry erase surface. My amazing tip number one. So, I always carry around a notebook. I like writing notes. I'm a traditionalist in that respect. I firmly do believe that writing is very effective with a pen and paper. Sometimes when I'm writing a note, I don't really want to waste the page. It's just a temporary idea I want to put down on a piece of paper, but I don't want to use up the piece of paper. So this is where putting a dry erase sheet in my notebook becomes a really valuable tool. So how do you do it? Well, we're going to take this page over here my last page of my notebook, I'm going to actually convert this into a whiteboard. So what I'm first going to do is take my dry erase sheet and measure it out. So to measure it out, I like to flip my notebook onto the dry erase sheet like this. And then I'm just going to trace the outline over here and cut it along the edge. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to use permanent marker to outline the shape of my notebook. And if you want to know how to remove permanent marker from a dry erase surface, just click on my link right over here. So let's go over here and do that. All right. Now I'm going to just use my scissors and I'm just going to cut along the line of my notebook. And what I really like about the surface, it cuts super, super easy. So you can actually cut it to any shape you want, which makes it nice. So with a scrap, what you can do is also cut these into little pieces and make little and make labels if you wanted to. So I'll go ahead and cut that. There you go. So now I have a cutout and I'm going to put it in the last page of my notebook right over here. So to do that, I'm just going to peel back the liner. Like that. So, and remember it's a posted adhesive, which means that if you do mess up, you can take it off and reposition if you need to. So I'll go from the top over here. Perfect. Now check this out. I have a dry erase board in my notebook. Very, let's see if I can do this backwards. Very cool. So now if I have to jot down a quick idea in my notebook, rather than using up one of these pages, now I've got a whiteboard in my notebook. So I can just take my dry erase marker and write my notebook and it just makes a beautiful tool. All right, the second way of using it now that we actually have scraps of this dry erase surface, rather than tossing it out, what you can do is you can cut it into little labels. So I can cut up into little segments like this. Now I've got a perfect dry erase label that I could put on my bins, boxes, or filing cabinet. So I've got a little bin over here I want to label. So with that scrap, I can make little mini labels. 
And I know the contents of this bin are post-it notes. And just like that, now my bins are nice and organized. So I can go ahead and use the rest of the scraps to label the rest of my bins. Third application is a pretty easy one. Uh, sometimes I don't want a full-size whiteboard on my wall. I just need a small message board. So with one of these sheets, I can create an instant whiteboard. As you can see, I've got one right there on the corner. Again, I just peel back the liner, slap it on my wall, and then I've got a mini dry erase board on my wall, which is good for just short note-taking or if I'm brainstorming and I need an area where I can brainstorm my ideas next to my post-it notes. And that's why I have this dry erase sheet here on my wall. It's, you've got my easel pad here for some ideas where I wanted it to be permanent. I've got the post-it notes on the other section and beneath that I've got my dry erase surface so I can write down some temporary ideas or reminders underneath there. Another neat application is using a dry erase surface on your desk. Now sometimes when I'm on the phone I want to jot down a quick idea or a quick note but I know it's not permanent and I don't want to waste a post-it note or my notebook. So that's why having a dry erase surface on your desk is such a cool way of keeping brief notes without wasting paper. So here's my desk over here. Now I've got a monitor arm here, so my monitor is gonna be out of the way. My laptop's on a stand over here, so I've got this clear area right in front of my desk. The other thing too about my desk is that it's kind of scuffed up. So putting this dry erase surface is actually gonna freshen up that portion of my desk. So for this application, I've made sure that my desk is clean and I'm gonna take the liner, peel the liner like so. And I'm going to place it right, probably right here at the edge of my desk. Just like so. And there you go. Now I've got an area on my desk where I can quickly take my notes, jot down some ideas here, or just doodle. So in the same light that I can put this on my desk, I've actually had teachers use these dry erase sheets for student desks. And what makes it great is that it really helps students with their learning process. When they've got a dry erase sheet in front of them, they can practice their alphabet, their math, or anything where they don't wanna waste a piece of paper, it's great for the classroom. So it's just a really cool way of adding some creativity to your classroom. And the last way of using the posted dry erase sheet is actually just as a sheet itself without taking off the liner. So rather than just taking off the liner and sticking on a permanent surface, I do actually have people carry this in their briefcase so they have a placemat where they can always brainstorm ideas. So in a meeting, for example, if you want people to brainstorm ideas and to be interactive, right. you can give everybody a dry erase sheet. They can share their ideas. They can mess around with it. So it's just a cool way of people having their own individual whiteboard rather than having to walk up to a whiteboard because that's kind of intimidating for some people to stand up in a crowd, walk up and share their ideas. So by giving everybody a dry erase sheet in a meeting, it really provides an inclusive environment where everybody can participate in brainstorming of their ideas because not everybody is comfortable walking up in a front of a room and sharing their ideas. This would also complement a lot of post-it note brainstorming sessions. The dry erase sheet could be the beginnings of an idea. And then once the ideas get solidified, then you can transfer those ideas onto post-it notes. And once the ideas are transferred onto the post-it notes, then you can put up on the wall and we can share everybody's ideas that way. So, so just a really interesting way of getting people engaged in a meeting. These post-it note sheets are available in packs. So they're unfortunately not available as individual sheets. They're packs of 15 but that means you've got 15 different ways on how you can use the post dry erase sheets or you can share it with your friends or your coworkers. So there you go guys, my five amazing ways on how to use a post-it dry erase sheet. If you like the video, feel free to share it with your friends. Also remember to give me a big thumbs up and if you haven't done so already, press on the subscribe button and I look forward to seeing you guys next time.